<laughs> Take that aggro rogue. Aha. Yo, what's up guys? Today's new spicy off meta deck is gonna be this big shaman featuring the new Shadow Hunter Vol'jin card. I've been having so much fun playing with my big deck and it's pretty impressive, so I had to show it off for you guys. All right, big deck jokes aside, this deck is actually pretty legit. I ended up going eight and four for a 67% win rate with this. So the big minions that we have in our deck that we wanna cheat out are gonna be the Scrapyard Colossus, the Walking Fountain, the Plague Proto Drake. And then we're using the older ways of cheating them out with like Farsight, the Blatant Decoys, the Muckmore, but now we have the Shadow Hunter Vol'jin card. And Vol'jin just works perfectly in Shaman because we have our totem hero power. The only drawback to having Vol'jin in the deck is maybe sometimes your Muck Morpher will transform into the Vol'jin, but that hasn't happened to me yet, so crossing my fingers hopefully that doesn't happen to you guys yeah this deck is a blast to play and you can actually climb with it so if you guys enjoy it as well let me know by leaving a like down below that does help me out an absolute ton and if you like other off meta decks just like this then subscribe and hit that bell notification to make sure that you never miss out on another cool off meta deck like this i do also stream all of these decks on twitch monday through friday and the link for that is also going to be down below in the description but for now let's hop into the gameplay stay funky all right we got the muck morpher here we go, it's happening, it's happening. Once we get Lightning Storm in that core set. Okay, so I have a Muck Morpher on five. See if I can like draw Bloom so we can do that on three. Kinda cool. It's our half year anniversary, it is. It's a big deal. A half a year is a long time. It's been a great half of a year. Dude, wait, okay. Can we stop drawing these these big minions? I mean, I'm okay drawing big minions as long as we draw like, I don't know, Blatant Decoy or uh, Vol'jin. So far, I only have three big minions left in my deck. Just two Proto Drakes and one Scrapyard. <laughs> the way it's looking, this Muck Morpher might even transform into like a Vol'jin. Okay. Kind of a good top deck. Go. Might want to make that my card back. Okay, so it's OTK Demon Hunter. Anytime you see him draw a bunch of cards, that's how you know. That's the tip off. Okay, revolve. Hmm. Might be pretty hard for them to deal with the Scrapyard Colossus, though. Like, they're going to have to silence it and then try to, like... Uh, maybe lend, like, a big I-Beam on it or something. Dude, they get, oh, dude, they get still, you know, way too often. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a big minion back in my deck. That was actually perfect. <laughs> oh, dude, in the Vol'jin. Uh, we always go Muck Morpher here. Yeah, nice. Nice. That's what I'm saying. Um, turn seven, I guess we can go like hero power and then Vol'jin. Okay, I mean, that's actually not bad though. Cause yeah, then we go back up to an 8-8 instead of a 4-4. <laughs> it's kind of a trade off. We lose the seven drop, but we get plus four, plus four worth of stats. Yo, what's up, Bat? Muck Morpher? Heck yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is Muck Morpher ever played in wild, Bat? It's such a cool card. It's such a cool, unique effect. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, dude, yeah, there you go, there you go. Another Muck Morpher. So I'm either gonna, what, Devolving here, maybe Revolve, let's see what we get. Okay. Definitely not Revolve now. Uh, but I can make this into a one drop, or I could Hex it. Kind of wanna Hex it. It's like an OTK Demon Hunter, they don't really have any other minions I'd wanna Hex, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, next turn, now we hero power and then Vol'jin, and then we might even get another Scrapyard. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, though. Like, Demon Hunter has silences, but they don't necessarily have, like, big removal spells. Unless they can get, like, a Moarg plus, uh, plus I-Beam. Then they'd have to waste a Moarg for that clear, you know? They already wasted one silence. I bet they're regretting that. I don't know. I kind of want to go for the guarantee. Guarantee of pulling one of my good minions. There we go. I mean, this is just too perfect, right? 
anything it pulls is good. Anything it pulls. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, like, I don't even care about Ilganoth. I don't even care about their OTK. I'm just gonna beat them down with big stuff. Like, how do they deal? <laughs> how do they deal? Okay. There's one Moarg down. They haven't copied it either. So they only have one Moarg left in their deck. Or one Moarg possible. So Big Shaman is really good before uh, these big priest cards from Dark Moon. Oh, okay, okay. Nice, nice. I, I like Big Shaman. It's just a cool archetype, I think. You know, with the muck morphers and stuff. Are we doing a Funky Friday this week? Yes, we are. Yep. We are indeed. Dude, he's taking that to the face. Oh, he must have another I-beam. Another fell scream. Okay. Uh, he didn't mind taking the damage to the face because he was going to heal it up anyways. That's all right. <laughs> I mean, so he wasted all of his burn on the combo. I guess he has one I-beam left. And by the way, yo, back. Congrats, uh, congrats on that partner too. By the way, if uh, if anybody doesn't know uh, Bat here in chats, definitely got to check him out. Recently got partner just a few days ago. Great wild content creator. Always like top legend in wild. If you guys like wild, go ahead and check out Bat. Also, Hyper Horizon team of mine too. So, got to represent. Yeah, just dropping, uh, dropping the Proto Drake, seeing how they deal. How do they deal? <laughs> I mean, they wasted all the removal unless they have like a skull here. I'm basically there. They just wanted to see me being more consistent um, over more multiple months. But they're like, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. So we'll get there soon. We'll get there soon. Cast yeah, strike. Yep. I mean, at least now they're cycling. But I mean, even if they find their Ilganoth, I don't even care because they already wasted all the removal, so. Uh... I guess, do you, do you punch that? You probably do, right? Yeah, maybe you should go face. See, um, because maybe next year you can, like, top deck a skull into another, um... Four blades and it'll get off into like twin slice. Yeah, I have nothing but removal in my hand. Hmm. I guess I might as well witch's brew. I mean, what else am I doing? All right, heal that up, heal that up. Cool, cool, cool. Still have about a three turn kill here. Yo, Mafiko! Hype, hype, hype! <laughs> Funky hype, dude. I like how you just meshed those two together. Works perfectly. Yeah, how you doing, Mafiko? Doing well? Hope you are too. Yeah, doing fantastic. That's you, that's you guys, by the way. Yeah, man. He's staying alive. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much all he's doing at this point is just staying alive. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, staying alive, staying alive. Come on, Rai Guy. Can you come back, Rai Guy? Do you got this? Ah, uh, there's the second I beam. Okay, so they've wasted both I beams. They've wasted both fell screen blasts. We got them. We got them. Yeah, and this should be a concede. Zephyrus, yeah, I mean, is it, is it, it is active, okay. What can he even give? What'd you even do? Mind control, okay. Oh, it was a zero cost in mind control. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I see you, dog. I see you. All right, let's actually go landslide first. So that way the devolving missiles guarantee is onto the uh, scrapyard. I don't necessarily need the uh, spell damage. Okay. 
Come on, something stupid. Ugh, that's not something stupid. Wait a second here. Wait a second here. Guess I chill, because they're going to make that trade for me. I mean, they do only have five cards left in their deck, and they burned the Ilganoth, so... Pretty much grasping at straws at this point. <laughs> I'm cooking up a new meme deck. Ooh, I love it. I love the sound of it already. So it's a rare and he played it and tried to get CDC pinned on it, see if he can help. Oh, let's wait for it. Clown Hunter. Ooh, man. I like the sound of it. Yo, uh, Stephen Wonder, throw that in Discord. I'd love to play it this Friday for Funky Friday. I mean, oh, geez, we got the spell damage. Oh, we got the spell damage, though. Um, I think I actually passed my turn. So way it heals this up, then I can actually get a favorable trade that way. So what am I doing in the meantime? Just torrent onto the Fell Screamer, probably. Chill. Mm, I love a good tease. You guys know me well. You guys know just how to talk to me. How to talk the right amount of dirty to me. Spicy off meta deck. Oh. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I had a 49 card deck yesterday. It was fun. You're just taking one for the team that game. All right. So we're looking for nothing except for Vol'jin and Muckmore for in this matchup. Nice name. I feel like I need a translator for this. <laughs> okay, it's just a spirit. It's good if we can get something big. Oh, baby. Here we go. Here we go. It's happening. It's happening. So we far side on three, coin a muck morpher on four, and just kind of play it by ear from there. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for rubbing it in. At least it's not res priest. But priest is a priest. Is a priest. Oh, baby. Oh, hello. So the next turn we coin out a Muck Morpher, if it's like a Scrapyard Colossus, we just instantly Ancestral it? Hold on. Hold on. Maybe maybe our luck is uh, turning around. We'll see, we'll see. What are you offensively bouncing with Vol'jin? Um, like one of our totems to get like a Scrapyard in our hand or something. Otherwise you can do it to like your opponent's minion to like get rid of like a big taunt or what not all right all right all right make us proud muck morpher don't get the vulgin don't get the vulgin Ooh, i'll take it i'll take it i'll even ancestral this as well too that's all right we're going big we're going big on this drake well they did have the wave i'm glad that they didn't have the uh the whatchamacallit. The the thingamajig, the 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 hooja hooja call it. Double death, okay. I mean they're burning their whole hand for this. I could. It's probably just better tempo. Right? Yeah. I guess it's just good tempo. They managed to get, uh, do a clear here. And Hunter, on a serious note, I'm trying to get it as competitive as possible. Ooh, I'm looking forward to it, Steven. I'm excited. Okay, what can they even get here? Torrents? Yeah, I was gonna say Torrent is good here. Nice, nice. 
Probably just toying with this, just to make sure that they don't have anything. Anything that sticks around for like an apotheosis. I could bloom, ooh, I, I could actually bloom out a blatant decoy. But that would pull my Volja in, and that's no bueno. So we'll just do this. I'll have seven mana, possibly nine with the bloom. Yeah, I'll probably just Vulgen. No matter what it hits here, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'll still get value. Love the old 50 cent and the old game jams, dude. Yes. Got the good jams today. I mean, either way, even if it hit this, we got a 6 6 again, so I'm not really too upset about that. No matter what it hits is good here. Huh? You know what? It's actually kind of better that it was Blatant Decoy, right? For like a Soul Mirror? Because if, if it pulled Scrapyard Colossus, they could Soul Mirror. That would actually be pretty good for them. Because they'll leave a taunt behind. But this is really good now. Okay, so all they get is just a Vulgin. <laughs> wait, wait. Is this lethal? Ah, yes! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, baby! Woo! Against a rogue. I'm gonna toss it though. See if I can get uh, an early muck morpher with like a bloom or something. That would be the best thing ever. Okay, I got some big stuff in the hand, so I guess we got a bloom. So now we just need some cool stuff to do. Now we need a top deck like Muck Morphers, Vulgin, uh, Decoys. Like Malagos so while you still can. Yeah, right? Before he rotates in a month? Revolve won't call Doomsayer. I ain't falling for that. <laughs> and yeah, what's up, Kevin? How you doing, Kevin? Um, shit, there's no way I can actually deal with these. I could bloom out a scheme. Oh, I'm gonna try getting greedy here because we do have the walking fountain in hands. Uh, I'm gonna play that next turn. That's good, that's good, yeah, yeah. So we can play this next turn. We don't have to coin out the this hang of the scheme. All right, so what did you guys vote on? So Malago Shaman is what we're gonna be playing next, okay. The people have spoken. Okay, yeah, now we definitely need to use this scheme. Yeah, let's let's plan on doing that. If they just play some stealth dudes, I'll go scheme. Hmm. I could have possibly kept um, the Dread Corsair alive just so I have a target to run the Walking Fountain into. I might even just allow to just like put the Walking Fountain down anyways. Like no matter what they play here. Ooh, okay, that's gonna be a good scheme. Yeah, that's a really good scheme. Uh, all right, as long as I can get this walking fountain down, we're good. Soon as this walking fountain comes down. Four mana cutting class. Oh, damn. That's what you like to see. Is it possible for you to muck morpher into another muck morpher? I think it is. I think it is. I'm not actually positive on that, though. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and bloom out... A walking fountain. Coin devolving, and now we're guaranteed a minion that we can smack into. Hey! Get wrecked! <laughs> and that is GG. Yeah, game over. There's no way they come back from a walking fountain uh, with spirit on it. And I don't think a lot of lists don't run sap. So we should be got we should be fine there. Ah, uh, there we go. We got him. Right, they, they can't out damage eight healing each turn, right? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> it is aggro rogue, so I don't know. They might be able to dish out more than eight damage each turn. That's a scary thing. They still might. And yo, hyperactive. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it.
Huh? Wow, they're going ham. Okay, maybe they could actually dish out more than eight damage each turn. What? Dude. Dude, stop. Stop. Okay, what if I want to muck morpher? Yeah, I have to muck morpher, muck morpher before the decoy anyways. So, see if I get like another walking fountain. That'd be pretty sick. Okay. Taunt, totem, yeah. I'm all around super hyped for the core set just to really chase up the classes. Oh yeah, exactly. Same here, same here. Just any, any changes I'm excited for. No matter what the changes are. Uh, so they're hoping for like a secret passage off the top or something? I mean, there's no way, there's no way. Blade decoy pulls a scrapyard colossus, yeah. Whoo, that walking fountain, that turn, was it turn five, turn six walking fountain? That was pretty clutch. The retin to make him concede? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> then next turn, you're gonna throw out another scrapyard. <laughs> Take that, aggro rogue. Aha! End of the game at full health. This is illegal? That's perfectly legal. We're doing it. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe if you want to see more original off meta decks just like this and check out this sweet video. You're gonna love it, I promise. See you there.